So hello YouTube. Um, today is a special video. It's a kit that I pre-ordered, and it's an SU57 from Swesta and 148 scale. It's a their fifth generation fighter, and it's supposed to be really good. They've already uh, have they've, they've already used it in the Middle East, and uh, it's their replacement for the the, the SU33. And uh, it looks pretty pretty nice, actually. I think it looks better than the F-35, actually. Even though I kind of like the F-22. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, please like and subscribe and ring that bell to get uh, notifications on my new videos. So, my fellow people, here we have a brand new kit from Svesta. Um... It's a big box. So uh, the camera's going to be a little far away. Let's get the box in there. That's a nice box art, too. Like I said, this is a new aircraft from Russian Air Force. And a new kit from Svesta. I pre-ordered it a couple of months ago. And it came. And you see, already we have the, uh, the fuselage in two pieces. It has here a nice color chart with the uh, two patterns. We have a T-50, the eighth, eighth prototype of the SU-57. Made its flight in November 2016. The second is uh, T-50-11, the 10th the flight prototype of the SU-57, adopted as a serial standard. The plane made the first flight in August 2017. The third one is Russian Air Force, with the production paint scheme. So three, three, uh, three options. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of companies that come, come out with more options pretty soon. The, uh, the color chart is in Tamiya paint. Here we have the decal sheet. There's two. One with all the, the lines. And some extras. The labels and stuff. And the second one with the... Uh, the markings for the aircraft. And more little markings. They look really... The decals look really nice, I think. We have a, actually a really thin instruction page showing two options, one on a stand, so it comes with a stand I guess, and one on the wheels with the ladder cockpit open. So we see here we have uh, the fuselage, A and B, C, the D is the clear parts, E, F, and G. There's six trees of gray plastic and unclear plastic. Like most fight, like most aircraft, we we start here with the fuselage, then with the with the interior. Looks like it has a pretty detailed seat. Controls and everything. Comes with the pilot figure. Put the fuselage in the aircraft. Uh, put the cockpit in the aircraft. Building some missiles for the for the weapons bay here. And to build the weapons bay, I'm putting some of these missiles inside. And then we go to the engines here. By the number six. And number seven, a couple of covers for the intakes. Eight, the uh, vector nozzles for the exhaust. Then here we have the vertical and horizontal stabilizers. Some cockpit detail here. Um, the uh, the 
the canard wings. Some detail for the for the cockpit glass and some final details in the cockpit with these I don't know what it is. I guess it's part of the aiming system. This piece that goes forward of the SU twenty seven had something like that too. Then the landing gear, bay doors for the weapons bay, putting the assemblage assembling the landing gear. Here's some more um the rear wheels, pylons, pylons. I believe this is an external fuel tank. Looks like. And uh, some air air missiles. So you have missiles in the you can have missiles in the weapons bay as well as the weapons on the wings. Then we go here. Here's the ladder. And the final assembly either with the ladder or with the. Uh, the stand and then here's the 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 markings that's the first sheet with the red markings so now take a look at the plastic here it has nice and grave detail all over the outside of the fuselage you see part of the it has some stuff to clean up here on the front and on the back Here is no detail on the walls of the um, the cockpit, but there's a uh, panels that go over here inside. You can see the outline for the panels. You can you see it's here for the weapons bay. It goes from, from it's a really long weapons bay. The engraved detail is really nice here as well. The molding, it looks really nice. Ah, oh, clear parts in a fifth block bag. So here's the clear parts. They have really good, um, the frame looks really good here. It's even um, it, ha it has a, a, a texture to it here on the sides. And crystal clear, and look good. And here you can see we have these missiles. I forget which ones they are. I think they're NS ship missiles. The fuel tanks. It has really good, uh, the molding looks really nice, I think. Good detail. You can even see the, the fans in between here on the exhaust, on the intakes. Pilot looks good. Pi the pilot looks really good. The inside of the exhaust look good as well. The wheels are not weighted though. But you can see here, yeah, the pilot, you can pose it, it has separate arms, so you can pose the arms how you want. None of the wheels are weighted though, they're all round. But the, it looks like this front wheel, you know, it's molded in two pieces with the, with the inside of the, the other side already here. This is a, a second tree of the same. Moldings are good on it too, just like the other one. So it comes with two pilots. Or two. It only has one one crew though. Looks good. I can use it for maybe for my SU-27. Doesn't have a pilot. So here we have a tree uh, with more missiles in 
weapons parts here, pylons. This looks like the this is the interior of the weapons bay here. And the doors to the weapons bay here. I believe. No, that's the roof of the weapons bay and sides. <coughs> But it has good detail, good molding, no flash. I think it looks pretty good so far. Here we have some body parts here for the intakes and such. And the exhaust, I believe, here. Some good. I don't see any molding lines or anything like this. This has a weird, fi uh, weird arrow on it. But I'm trying to see if you want if you want to mold it. I mean, if you want to build it with the open bay, you have to cut it. They're all like that. All the pieces. If you want to, if you want to build it um, with wheels down, with the wheels down, then you're gonna have to cut the. You're gonna have to cut the uh, the uh, the gear doors in half. Here, these are in three parts. With this top part in here, and this is also in two parts. You have to cut. So to make the gear the the gear. The gear doors and the uh, the weapon bay open. It's going to require a little work and some careful cutting. Now here we have the cockpit. Not any real detail here. They let's come with the they come with the decals, the detail for the cockpit. The seat I think looks really good. The landing gear looks really good too. Really nice detail on the landing gear. That's the front. The back comes in multiple multiple parts. These little parts here, here, for the back landing gear. And the last tree, we have the canard wings and the horizontal. And um, vertical stabilizers. Here's the big, big gear doors for the back. The ladder. Here's some more wheel parts. For, uh, the brakes. And hmm. these are probably also for the landing gear. And for the ladder. Landing gear. Nice detail here on the, uh, the flaps, I think. I think it looks good. It's a new kit. It's pretty, it's, it's a pretty good size aircraft. And then you can see here by the fuselage about how big it'll be. It's about the same size as the SU-27, maybe a little smaller actually. Um, let me turn the camera to it. It's about, I think about 18 centimeters long, a little over a foot. And I think I would def definitely recommend this model, it looks really good. Russia's new 5th uh, generation fighter. And a little a message for my my subscribers and to everybody else. Uh, so since we're moving, uh, we're not going to have internet for a couple weeks. The last video I've uploaded is for the 30th of December. After that, I don't know if I'll be able to do any more for a couple weeks.
So until we see, well, after the 30th, it'll probably be a couple weeks before a new video comes out. Until next time, bye.